Well, well, well. Today, is, it's finally come, man. The day is the day. We get, for the first time, the opportunity in this series to make history, change history for the better. That is right. Welcome back to Life as Frederick Anderson. We are taking on the St. Louis Blues today, as the Maple Leafs did last night. And the Leafs lost, unfortunately, to the Blues. They lost a one-goal game. It was close. They were right there. I actually thought they were going to tie it. But unfortunately, they ended up losing it. So that's um, not the result you want to see. But like I said, they were right there. And uh, shit happens, man. So today we have our opportunity, our first opportunity of the season to win a game that Frederick Anderson has lost because that was Freddie's first loss and that was the Leafs' first regulation loss of the season also. So the 82-0 record that uh, Dango was talking about is not going to happen, unfortunately. I, uh, it, was, it was looking good for a while, but, um, you know, things happen. And this was also probably... A, scratch that. This was definitely uh, Frederick Anderson's worst game of the season, which, I mean, that's not saying much because there's only been three games so and that's really the first one where you're like I feel like that was the first one where Freddy was actually shaky so I don't know it's not like a huge insult it was still only three goals allowed so like whatever it's not like he got destroyed or anything it's just two of those three goals I feel like yeah you know they could have been stopped they could have been stopped by Frederick but whatever it is what it is and the goals I'm referring to were the slap shot goal and the cross ice play that he I feel like he could have got there he was just he looked slow on that but whatever it is what it is shoot that nice glove save thank you it just sucks that it comes on the heels of Hutchinson's terrible start against Montreal that's like whatever man that back-to-back -back not great goaltending and back-to-back uh, -back losses so I mean it's not gonna help the whole uh, the Leafs need superhuman goaltending bullshit meme that people have going through oh my goodness nice save that was uh, I thought they might have scored that <laughs> it's whatever I like I'm not even mad at the loss honestly um it wasn't a carnival like they didn't play bad if, if anything the Leafs you could argue that they deserve to win that game with the way that they looked at times there's a shift that uh was on Twitter like the whole video of the shift it was like almost two minutes long like the Leafs were just destroying okay destroying the st louis blues defense they just kept the puck for the like, a long ass time matthews was dangling he was pulling shit off like it was it was great it was some great stuff and that puck's gonna go way out of play nice save by ya boy we're getting outshot here by this uh, computer st louis blues hopefully jason spetsa can win this face off for us yes thank you jason i appreciate that and of course we're gonna turn it right the fuck over and i'm gonna have to make a glove safe and captain here we go he's had okay a lot of people were hating on captain i didn't think he played that bad i i feel like he he even created a few opportunities uh he had something like i want to say in the second period he had like a decent scoring chance where like he could have scored he just didn't and as as long as you're getting chances, right? As long as you're generating stuff, you're not worried. It's when you stop being effective at generating anything that is uh, really worrying. And people are picking on Kapanen a little bit because of that thrown stick against Montreal. But it's fine. I mean, he's not he's not terrible, man. He's actually doing okay. Mikheyev is awesome, though. He is absolutely a monster. And so was Nylander in that game. But Mikheyev is still out here playing well. And uh, wasn't dominant or anything, but he did play well, in my opinion. And that's the end of the first period already. Man, okay. It's 8-4, to four, the shots. Just absolutely no offense. It's pretty much exactly what was happening in the real-life game. It's a pretty tight, played game. You know, not too much offense, not too much back and forth with huge rushing chances. That's pretty much what it is, man. Not a whole lot of offense being generated. Not too many mistakes I guess you could say too many odd man rushes and stuff Nylander's trying to get a one in on Jordan Bennington it's not gonna work but yeah so far still no score after one whole period of play and on to be perfectly honest I don't even remember if there was a goal by now I think there was in the real game I don't remember when the goals were scored I just really don't and I couldn't couldn't be bothered to look at the highlights because I'm not gonna be out here and pretend like I remember everything just because I look at the highlights. That's not your boy. That's not what I'm doing. My goal here is to entertain the people with some gameplay. So if uh, if we could actually get like some decent offense to look at, okay, we almost fucking scored right there. Or if we could make your boy make a few saves, that would also be huge. Let me. Oh, that is Ryan O'Reilly. He is a bad motherfucker. Let's not 
allow him to do bad things to us. We need to uh, keep him in check. And there you go. Speaking of keeping him in check, our defense is playing great right now. Mitch is doing stupid shit. Okay, that was just unnecessary as hell. It's fine. It's perfectly fine, man. We're we're not allowing chances. Oh, shit. That's a chance, though. That is a chance. Get off my crease, man. Or get out of my crease, rather. Oh, that was a weird one. That was like a muffin, but it kind of deflected. Wow, I thought that might have bounced in, but thank goodness we had the reflexes to actually glove that away. That was terrifying. That was probably the most terrifying slow shot I've ever seen. Holy moly, okay. Whatever, it is what it is. And speaking of things that are floating in the air, Jason Spezza's setup on the Freddy Gote goal. Holy moly, that guy... I mean, shit, bro. He batted it out midair twice. Like, that's how you know. This man's... When he signed with the Leafs, right? I was like, okay, the guy's a boat. He's a literal boat on the ice. He, he doesn't move nearly as well as, um, you know, as the old Jason Spezza used to do. But... I said to my buddy Tyler, I'm like, yo, he still has great passing ability. Like, he still makes great passes, and he still has hands. He can't move, but at least he can handle the puck a little bit, right? And that was on full display in that last game. Okay, with that setup, and I am just I am just a little terrified right now about what just happened. Let's see if we can have sustained pressure, though. Spezza loses the faceoff, gets it back, and here they go, shooting it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just realized that I didn't put Gautier in the lineup. Okay, that's just that's just my bad. My bad. I thought I had the right lines, but apparently I do not. It's just the same shift. It's not the same shift, but what I meant was... Oh, wow. Really? Really? You're going to expect me to stop that? That's fucked, dude. You can't just let him walk right in there. Jesus Christ. Oscar Sunquist. Of course. Wow, this game is being accurate as fuck. The only thing is that wasn't a weak-ass goal on my part. That's just, like, how am I possibly supposed to stop that? I I got close, too. I actually got close to stopping that, but it's not going to happen. Sunquist, though, he's going to get the Blues on the board, and we'll see if we can... Uh, oh, he was one second away from scoring at 420 left. That would have been that would have been noise. Okay, decent passing. Here comes Zach Hyman. He's going to give it away. Great stuff. Great humongous stuff right here. No, I got that covered. I knew you were going to cut back to the right side. Don't even try me like that, bro. There's a minute left in the second, and here comes William Nylander. He's going to pass it to Janssen. Back to Willie. Dropping it to Hall, who turns it the fuck over. We're going to challenge the hell out of that shot and make a nice pad save. And that's going to be the end of the second period. We are down one nothing against the St. Louis Blues. And, uh, okay, they have 10 shots. We have 15, but they have 10, so we are still at 900 save percentage, which is pretty much like where I want to be at least. Right? You want to be at 900 at least as a, as a human goalie uh, against computers. Okay, and if you're playing 6v6, then 800 is kind of the 900. You know, it's, it's a different standard. Now all we need to do is score one goal, boys. We can do it. Matt's dropping it to Nylander. Ooh, Willie! Two more tries, and you had that passing lane, bro. All you needed was to take another stride or two. Just be a little patient, and you would have been just fine. But it's not going to work, man. Okay, back into the offensive zone we go. Janssen just deeks into defense. Great stuff by Mango right there. Off the sideboards. Let's go. Shooting it. Nice save by Bennington. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, we have some offensive zone pressure now. I like this. I really like this spinning at the point and shit. All right, there you go. And there it ends. Let's go, man. We need a goal. Mitch dropping it. Oh, yes to Barry. Oh, cross ice pass, but a great save by Jordan Bennington. Oh, uh, was that on John Tavares? That is so unfortunate for us. Man. Okay, that was not... I thought they were going to replay that save. They should have replayed that save, man. That was delicious. I thought, I thought we had the tying goal right there. Come on, I'm out here. Yeah, that's a pass. That's a pass for sure. Oh, yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. I seen that coming. Seen it coming. Read that book before, bud. Read it all the time back in the good old days, all right? I've seen it. You ain't going to surprise me with that. Back from capping into Barry. Barry breaks his stick. He's on the way to the bench for a brand new one. Uh, I think Barry actually broke his stick in a real game, too. Holy smokes, this is this is really accurate right now. There's a lot of things that are accurate about this game. Here we go. The Leafs on the attack. Cappy turns it over, unfortunately. And I might have to make a save on this one here. Nope, they're going to go around the boards. 
Their mic's probably thinking about... Okay, no, we're still halfway through the period. We, we're good. We're good. We have time. Trevor Moore has the puck. He's also lit. Slap shot far side. He had the side of the net to look at, too. But I've only allowed one goal, and we're losing. That does not make me very happy here as a goaltender. I feel like if you allow only one goal, you should be winning the hockey game. But it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Oh, goodness. Nice save. I hate when, uh, when I have a bunch of skaters in my crease. And, uh, boy... I, even if you did hit the net, I had that covered all day, your day, okay? You need to stop. You, you're, you guys are going to need to create more. Oh, Cappy, he shoots and scores! What a passing play. Tic-tac-toe to the back of the goal, and we tie it up. That is Nick Shore. That is not Kasperi Kapanen. Kasperi Kapanen is 24, you big dummy. I don't know why I thought it was Kapanen. <laughs> Whatever. But now we have momentum on our side, and we have a brand new hockey game. One to one, so let's go. The Buds might be able to pull this one out here and get a win, even though they didn't win the actual game in real life, but it's tight. It's a tight game against the defending Stanley Cup champions, man. And of course, now is the time for the Rammer power play of the game. That is the first opponent's power play, and here we go, boys. Four minutes left, practically five minutes left, really, in the third period. Oh, Clappers, nice save by your boy. No, sir, I'm going to... Yeah, there's nothing I can do on that. There's nothing I can do. If I take the shot too much, he's going to pass it, and it's a one-timer. So I just kind of tried to play both and hoped for the best, and the best did not happen. It got right through me, so terrible penalty. I don't know who took it, but Ryan O'Reilly is going to get the goal, and it's going to be 2-1 St. Louis, just like that. I feel like I was in position to stop it, too. Was I? Let me see. Let me see the replay here. You know, I got off the post. Oh, uh, I didn't go butterfly. I should have gone butterfly. That's the problem. Okay, fair enough. Whatever, man. It's early in the season, right? We're, we're, we're learning stuff. Well, I shouldn't learn that I have to go butterfly when the puck is that close, but you guys know what I'm talking about, you know? Just, just hold R2, you, you know? Just hold R2 sometimes, G. When the puck is that close, I... Ah, whatever. It is what it is. I still blame the guy who took the penalty. Like, fuck that. That was a terrible penalty in the first place to take. Nice glove save, though. We out here. But I really... I, I fucked my team here with uh, less than three minutes left in the game. I did not give us a whole lot of time to come back in this one. We're going to hold the post here. One of the few times I hold the post. But uh, there it is. Okay. We're probably going to get uh, called to the bench here. That's going to be my decision. Uh, because it is a versus game, and here we go. Oh, we score! I was on the way to the bench, and Mitch Marner is going to get us on the board and right back to even from Kapanen and Tavares. What happened there? I was just on my way. Oh, oh, ooh, nice backhand tucks from Mitch. You love to see it, and we might be headed to overtime. The team bailing me out here. Just hopefully I can just hold the fort for a few extra seconds and get us to overtime. And we are going to be A-OK. -okay. We're going to get a point, which is going to be an improvement on the real-life Maple Leafs. And at that point, who knows, we might get a second one or we might be absolutely disrespected in overtime because that do happen sometimes. Here comes Zach Hyman. Hyman dropping it. Okay. Nice play. Good stuff. Nice passing. I like what I'm seeing. Shit, I feel like pulling myself. <laughs> We're, we have such great control of the puck right now. I felt like pulling myself a little bit. I'm, I'm playing, obviously, but, you know. Uh, no, that's going to be a hard no for me, son. Ooh, we almost gave it away trying to break out with 20 seconds left, eh? All right, that's interesting. Here comes Matthews. Matthews, this is late. This is clutch time, big guy. He's passing it to the middle of the ice, and that could have been a big goal for Tyson Berry, but it was stopped by Bennington, 11 seconds left. Man, had there been like six seconds left, I might have actually got with with the uh, with the extra attacker on this one. Clappers from the point, stopped by Bennington. It's gonna bounce behind him, and it's gonna be a loose, oh my god. Offensive zone stick penalty for Mitch Marner. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Ugh, four seconds, four and a half seconds that we have to kill here before we get to overtime and get that point, that all-important point. No, nope, no, absolutely not. It's going to be cleared down the ice, and we're going to overtime, so we have officially surpassed the total, or, like, the, the performance from the real Leafs 
My save percentage is still under 900, though, which is not great. But here we are with 3-on-3 three three overtime, which is going to be 4-on-3 for the, the remainder of the penalty. And then it's going to be 4-on-4 four four until there is a stoppage of play. So here we go. Let's see what happens here. They are going to win the faceoff and get a great chance and a goal on the rebound because apparently I can't just extend my blocker. So we lose in overtime to the St. Louis Blues. Just like, well, not just like, but we do lose 3-2 though. So there you go. I think we actually got an accurate score on that one. So that sucks. That fucking blows. But we did get a point. And I mean, in overtime, why can't I make that save, Rammer? Why? That's just, I want to know. I want to know. I moved, I followed my rebound, and I just say, why? Why can't I just extend my... Okay, whatever. It is what it is. That's going to be our first loss of the season, too. Just like the Leafs. Man, we are keeping on track, huh? We are keeping on track. But hey, we are going stride for stride with the Stanley Cup... Def or defending Stanley Cup champions, all right? I can't pronounce shit right now, but it's all good, man. That's going to be the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face. Spend a hell out of a comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.